this lesson, we are going to discuss adaptation. At the end of this video lesson, you should be able to define adaptations and describe the different types of adaptations. Adaptations are inherited characteristics of organisms that enhance their survival and reproduction in specific environments. Since there is an enhancement in the survival and reproductive success rates of organisms, this means that natural selection comes into play. Adaptations are traits that are developed by organisms as nature naturally selects them to be fit for specific environments. Adaptations can be physical adaptations. These are evolutionary changes in the body that improve the chances of survival of species. Physical adaptations lead to adaptive evolution, which increases the frequency of beneficial alleles of a population and decreases the deleterious alleles due to selection. The most common example of which is the founder species seen by Charles Darwin in Galapagos Islands. The existing finches have evolved from a single founder species due to the difference in diets. The physical adaptation is evident in their beaks. There is a beak specialized for cracking seeds, eating insects, sipping nectar, and more. Aside from bird beaks, physical adaptation is seen in chameleon. Chameleons are known for their camouflaging mechanism. They can change their skin color based on the environment. They can do this because their skin has a layer of guanin crystals which have easily modified spaces in between. This changes the wavelength of light reflected of the crystals which changes the color of the skin. There are also organisms which do not have a color changing mechanism but can still camouflage. The spots in cheetahs can help them hide from the prey that they are attacking in grasslands. Camels have long eyelashes that can protect their eyes from the sand and dust since they usually live in deserts. Moles have polydactyl forepaws, having an extra thumb beside the regular thumb. Moles spend most of their time digging tunnels in search of worms and grubs to eat. Teeth of organisms have also evolved based on their diet. Herbivores like cows have molars that are essential for chewing grass. It is more fit for cows to have this compared to more sharp teeth like those in carnivores. Carnivores like crocodiles and alligators have sharp teeth that are adapted to chew on their preys which are tougher compared to the diet of herbivores. Structural adaptations are not only evident in animals. Plants also have structural adaptive mechanisms. The spines of cacti such as the prickly pear are actually leaves. These are actually used for protection from consumers and are used for photosynthesis. In poinsettia or Christmas flowers, the red flowers are not actually flowers but are modified leaves called bracts. These bracts surround the actual flower and are used to attract pollinators. The leaves of some succulents, such as the calancho, produce adventitious plantlets which fall off the leaf and take root in the soil. The tendrils of plants that cling to a support are actually modified leaves or stems. It acts as a lasso on closer plants for support. Some tendrils are actually invasive, which cause the support plants to suffocate due to lack of carbon dioxide. Lastly, in most succulents, such as this ice plant, leaves are adapted for storing water. Aside from adapting using structures, organisms can also adapt in their behaviors. Behavioral adaptations are acquired or learned behaviors or actions to help the organism survive. There are several behavioral adaptive mechanisms like allelopathy. Allelopathy is the release of toxins into the soil in order to stunt the growth of neighboring plants. An example of a plant that has this adaptive mechanism is the black walnut tree. It secretes a chemical to its root to delay the growth of the neighboring plants. Other example of behavioral adaptation for protection is territoriality. This is a protection of a territory from incursions by other species. Territorial animals like the giant otters are highly protective of their space. They usually live in groups to fight even the large predators like crocodiles and jaguars. As a predator attacks one giant otter, the rest of the clan attacks the predator, causing it to be annoyed or threatened. Another behavioral adaptation is hibernation. This is the state of lowered metabolic activity. Animals that live in habitats that experience winter usually hibernate to conserve energy. Bears, snakes, and foxes usually find it hard to look for prey in winter. So to conserve the reserved energy, they just hibernate and wait for the weather condition to be suitable for hunting. Lastly, migration is the movement of organisms from one geographic area to another. This is found in all major animal groups, including birds, mammals, fish, 
reptiles, amphibians, insects, and crustaceans. Animal groups usually migrate to find water, food, or even habitat for mating. There are more behavioral adaptations in organisms. All of those are essential for the survival of organisms. To conclude this lesson, let us review the following key points. Adaptations are inherited characteristics used by organisms to survive. Structural adaptations are modifications in the bodies of organisms. And lastly, behavioral adaptations are acquired actions of organisms. And this ends our discussion on adaptations.